Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to talk about the new Android update known as 4.2. Again, it is still known as Jelly Bean, but this is the latest Android update that will also come uh, pre-installed with new Android devices like the Nexus 4, Android 4 and the Nexus uh, 10 tablet. But Google is not omitting the old Android devices that we have, the uh, Nexus 7 tablet and the Galaxy Nexus Android phone is also going to get this update and I already got this update on my Nexus 7 tablet and this update that is known as 4.2 brings a lot of new features and I'm going to talk about them in this video. So here we have my Nexus 7 tablet running the Android version 4.2 uh, interestingly this is also known as Jelly Bean let me show you the same and uh, we get this new type of notification I'll talk about it a, a bit later uh, let me show you about the tablet. And as you can see, it is Android version 4.2 and uh, it is still known as Jelly Bean. So, and some of the new things are, the first thing is the lock screen. Let me lock this tablet now. And when I unlock it, and now we can add widgets to the lock screen. Yes, this is a widget. And as you can see, I added this Gmail widget also. And uh, we can add widgets, but the selection of widgets for the lock screen as of now is pretty limited. But the functionality of adding widgets to the lock screen is a new thing in this Android update 4.2. And the notification also gets a boost here. We do get the standard notification like this. But if we swipe down from this right end like this, we get this new quick toggle buttons. And that's pretty interesting. From here, you can directly adjust the brightness if you like, like this. And we can go to settings. You can uh, toggle your Wi-Fi. And you can also switch Bluetooth, etc. So this is one uh, interesting thing. Again, the, this functionality will be a little bit uh, different in the phones. On the phones, we need to use this two fingers and swipe here. If you do it on the tablet, you get the standard notifications. Another important thing that this 4.2 update brings is multi-user support to Android. And as you can see here, it's showing my photograph. I have just one user account assigned, but if you have multiple user accounts assigned, you can toggle between them. Let me show you the same. If you go to settings, and if you go to here, this users option, here you can add another user. So this will be ideal if your tablet is being used by multiple uh, members in the house. So each of them can have their own account. So this is an interesting thing. Uh, one more thing uh, that has been improved is now in Gmail, uh, you can uh, get pinch to zoom feature. Sadly, this was not there earlier. And uh, by default, it's not enabled. You just need to go to the settings and here go to general settings. And here you see this option auto fit messages. You need to check mark that. Now, let me open up a message. Uh, let's go to spam. Let's open a rich text message. For example like this let it load uh, images are not loading let me open one more message then start and as you can see now we do get this pinch to zoom feature in gmail so that's uh, interesting you can also do it for normal text messages for example like this so that's one interesting thing uh, so these are some of the major differences between the Android version 4.1.2 and the F Android version 4.2. But again, Google still likes to call it uh, the Jelly Bean. And also I noticed that the multitasking uh, tray, though it's normal, the animation has changed a little bit. When we switch, there's a different kind of animation that I feel. So these are some of the new features of the Android update 4.2. Uh, if you found this video helpful, I'll appreciate if you can click on the like button given below. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video.